Hello everyone, welcome to Horizon Smart Factory. Uh, here at the Horizon Smart Factory floor, you will be seeing a lot of AGVs running back and forth in different processes in, the, in between machines. Uh, here in this AGV section, we have a pallet transportation uh, solution. I'm joined with uh, Nishimura san, who is from the R&D software department. He will be helping me out to move the pallets uh, in this setup. So. Okay, thank you for that. So, uh, let me just share the Horizon AGV example before we actually start into uh, explaining the AGV transportation section. So, here at AGV, uh, here at Horizon, before let's say four or five years ago, we, we, we did not have any, any of the AGVs. And especially in the assembly area, our staffs, they have to go back and forth to move different parts from one location to the other location. Uh, as the parts were located in different areas, it took a lot of time for our staffs to you know, gather them and bring it back to the assembly area, which resulted in uh, you know, less productivity and more stress among staffs. So we introduced AGV to move uh, parts from one uh, building or one location to the other location. After using AGV, uh, we figured out that it helped us to increase, increase the productivity not just productivity, it also helped to increase the motivation among our staffs. So here in this layout, we are introducing a solution which is easier to understand and actually apply in reality. Uh, based, uh, normally, current, uh, these days, I guess, a uh, lot of the pallet movement from printer to the after process is done manually uh, by an operator which takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, and we have a lot of touch points and have also uh, that kind of developed some kind of stress among the operators. So here in this layout, as you can see, we have three sections, printing, uh, binding, stitching. We also have three cameras on top of each section, one over there, two over there. And then in the end, we have a code reader, which is looking at the code placed on the top of the pallet. So the idea here is once an operator places a pallet on this particular spot, once the paper is printed from the, let's say, offset or digital press, it's printed, an operator takes it out, places it on a particular decided location. Once it's placed on that particular spot, the pallet, uh, the AGV comes pick it up, and takes it to a different location. It could be binding, could be stitching, could be logistic stations, or any other preferred location. Here on this setup, on this path, the AGV will come pick it up, and then we'll take the card through this path here. And on this path, we have a giant code reader, which is simply scanning the code on top of the pallet. It could be a barcode, it could be a you know, QR code, it could be data matrix or anything. Oops, sorry, that's upside down, yep. So that's something we can you know, have a code for the location, a code for the pallet, code for the paper type placed on the, on the pallet. So I will leave it on this one. So you can see, the AGV is again coming to pick that pallet up again. It will go in, pick up this pallet. So again, as I mentioned, we have registered different spots under this camera here. And then the AGV knows that it has to go and pick this particular pallet and take it to, a, you know, uh, process for the uh, after process. Once it has loaded the pallet on itself, it will continue this operation. I will come through this, and if you can see on the on the code here, it will scan the code. It goes green, and now it knows that it has to take the pallet to the binding area. But on the binding place, binding area, we have 
two pallets already, so it's kind of full. Unless we remove this pallet, the AGV will not continue its operation. It will stand by here and wait for the spot to be empty. So while Nishimura-san moves the pallet to other location, once it clears out, the camera is looking at the empty spot and he's already triggered a command to the AGV saying that the spot is empty and AGV can bring the pallet and place it on the uh, paper side. That's basically a paper receiving station over there. So simply speaking, this is a uh, very straightforward, uh, easy to understand, very almost zero touch points, no operas, operators required to move uh, pallets back and forth in different processes in between machine. Uh, the AGV will continue moving the pallets uh, ever, I mean, continuously, unless it dies out in the battery, unless Nishimura-san stops putting the pallets on the, on the printed area or uh, the empty pallet station. So if I can have the camera over there, uh, the empty pallet on the printing section has been cleared out, the orange, orange spot. So now AZV knows that it can bring the empty pallet back to this station. And on this side, on the binding area, we have placed an empty pallet on the empty section. So the AGV knows that it, it can take the empty pallet back to the printing area, which, is, uh, can, take, which can take empty pallets back to its original location. So an operator or a person who's working in between uh, Postgres or a printer, he or she don't have to worry about taking, play, uh, taking pallets to a uh, you know, finisher and then bringing empty pallets back to the uh, close to the printer or other empty pallet location. So as I mentioned, this will again continue its operation unless the battery dies out. Speaking of battery, for, the, for this kind of AGV, the total battery life is eight hours, but if you run continuously for eight hours, the battery will die out and we'll have to manually push the AGV. Uh, but in this setting, we can, uh, we can set up the battery limit. For example, if it's below 50%, it will take the current task, complete it, and then go to the charging area, charging, uh, and then go to the charge itself. If it's below 30%, it will not take any task, and then go straight for charging. Uh, to fully charge the AGV, it takes about one hour, and without charging, I think it can run around eight hours continuously. Uh, you can also see we have nicely, uh, you know, clean pallets placed on the on this setup. But originally, I would say uh, the pallets which are actually used on the floor are a bit wooden pallets. It could be Euro pallet or some other specification with the pallet. So any standard type pallet can be used by this AGV. We have some uh, specification for the pallets, but uh, almost all of the standard type pallets can be used. So it doesn't have any more task and it will go to the parking area. Yeah. And yeah, it'll gonna, it's going to come through here. I will go to the parking area. So this is basically the setup and one of the solution that we have here now. All of the equipment which is, uh, you know, connected, the cameras, the code readers, is everything connected to the warehouse control system. Warehouse control system is a software developed by Horizon which can communicate with the upstream or the ice link. So you can have that on the screen. You can, you can see it on the screen here. In this setup, we're using cameras, code readers, uh, which is it's a type of solution with zero touch points. We also have a similar kind of solution, or I would say uh, a bit of a simpler version where an operator can choose pick and drop area from the tablet. Or uh, we can also trigger a command by if an operator reads 
a code by using a barcode reader. So, simply, uh, these are the solutions that can be used uh, when we talk about, you know, less touch points or, you know, decreased stress for the work uh, staff working on the floor. Everything here can, you know, save a lot of time and energy. We can have, have almost zero touch points and create more uh, productivity and increase the efficiency at work. Okay, so that's pretty much it from me and hope you guys enjoyed listening. If you're interested in, please contact your Horizon staff, uh, Horizon contact person to talk about the uh, AGV pallet transportation solutions by Horizon. Thank you very much. Nishinoza, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.